Hello YouTube, it's me the Speedman. Today I'm back with another video. In this video, I'll be playing a CTF game from one of named Breakout, which falls under a easy category. So basically, it is a Linux machine. To download this machine and try yourself, visit the link in the description below. Save it to your computer and import the .ovf file in your virtual box. It will take some moment, so let me just fast forward the video. Once it finished importing, let me just change its network to bridge adapter as I am the only one using my home network so there will be no security issues. Save the changes and start the machine since it will take some time to boot so let me just fast forward the video. As you can see the machine is fully booted up. To play with this machine, we need its IP address which is already given to us. Now let me just do some quick and map scan on it it will take some minutes to scan so let me just fast forward the video as you can see i have got the result of the end map scan we can see five ports are open so at first let me check port 80 as it is default apache to web page there is not anything in front page but we always have to check its source code because sometimes developer can hide something as a comment While looking for hidden things, we came across a message which is encoded using BrainFog cheaper. Just copy it and search online for its decoder. After decoding it, we get a random text which can be used as a password in a future case. As you can see, we also have a login page where our just found text can be used as a password. Since we have Samba in this machine, let's use enum for Linux which could be useful to find out the share folder and even be useful to find out the username of the machine. As you can see, we get a user named Cyber which can be used to log in using the previously found password. Once logged in successfully, we can get a cell in a web page. We can use it to enumerate machine. While looking around, we get our first flag that is user.txt file. We can see the tar binary file in unusual place. So let's check its capability using getcap tool. To understand its capability, let's search it online. After looking it online, basically it allows us to read file which we don't have permission to read. While enumerating, we got a .back file which is present inside the bar slash backup folder. Since we do not have permission to read that file, so we can use the tar binary file to compress it into a new tar file and we can use the normal tar file to extract the compressed file and view the content inside the dot back file after successfully extracting we can read the content of the dot back file in this case it contains a text which can be used as a password for a root user So let's try to switch user to root but it gives error before taking our input as a password. To solve this error we use a simple reverse shell to get access to root user. For that search online for reverse shell and there are plenty of websites with different tools to get a reverse shell. For now I am using bash and netcat to listen in my machine. Once I get a reverse shell I can switch user to root with previously found password. As you can see, now I am a root user and I have full access to this machine so I can have the final flag that is root.txt file. So this machine is completed. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you all learned something from this video. Thank you all. Keep watching. Keep supporting. Thank you guys.